We're at the Autonomous Truck Conference in Detroit, and I'm talking right now with Steve Tobas. He's the Vice President of Engineering for a company called Harvest Automation. That's correct. But you don't have anything to do with trucks. We do not. So <laughs> explain what your company does and right. why you're at an Autonomous Truck Conference. So I thought about that a lot when the organizers of this event asked me to speak here. I thought, what are we going to contribute to this conversation, right? But uh, we make our, our latest robot is made for automating the e-commerce order fulfillment world, where e-commerce is just exploding. And I started thinking, well, we're automating the inside of the warehouse with our robots. It makes perfect sense to automate the outside of the warehouse with the truckers, the trucking industry. And I can see the future where autonomous trucks and robots come together and actually, you know, get totally automated order fulfillment. So you're talking about sense. robots picking up things in a warehouse and going loading them in a truck. Yeah, even on the loading docks. And that's happening in some places around, and some loading docks are already uh, robots loading trucks, uh, unloading trucks. And even we, we've, we make a robot for use on farms to move plants around. Even on some of those farms, these farmers have said, hey, can your robots, robots load our trucks for us? You know, so it's everywhere people can see the advantage of robots kind of taking over these somewhat monotonous tasks. And that's got to be the key, right? I, I mean, I, otherwise there's going to be a pushback of saying, hey, you're taking jobs away. But that's if you're right. doing the, re the repetitive, boring things, I guess that there's not going to be so much of a pushback. Right, and plus what, what we found, uh, at least in the farming world, is that the, they haven't let go of anybody. What they do is they take their workers that were moving these plants around the field and putting the robots in place doing that work and let those other workers do uh, more important things that, re that really do require humans to think. And so it's okay. worked out well. Warehouses, farms, what else are you yeah, thinking? Yeah, so we're, we consider ourselves a material handling company. So we, handle, we can handle things on farms, pots in particular. Um, our warehousing robot can be used in manufacturing facilities, so moving parts from point A to point B, or product from point A to point B. In warehouses, we help increase throughput through warehouses by about three to four times over uh, the typical manual order picking operations. And this is a new company, is it? This is, well, Harvest has been around for about five years now. We've been in the, the uh, warehouse game for about a year and a half, two years now. And uh, I got to believe that business is booming or you certainly see a bright future. Yeah, we have a lot of interest. Uh, Amazon, uh, people know who Amazon is. They, uh, they bought a company called Kiva out of Massachusetts about a year and a half ago for three quarters of a billion dollars. And Kiva makes autonomous robots for helping their, their uh, uh, e-commerce operation to increase the throughput. Now that company is completely off the market because Amazon uses it for themselves. So it's really opened up this huge market for us and lots of other companies to take, take their place. And we're happy to do it. You know, it's funny because when I came to this conference, I knew we'd be talking about trucks and platooning and all that thing. Right. Never thought we'd be talking about autonomous robots that right. can work in warehouses and farms and other places as well. Yeah, well the, um, you know, this whole thing about autonomy um, we've all got to figure out how these robots and trucks, autonomous trucks, are going to work safely with people. Uh, and it's a, it's, a, it's a difficult question to answer. And when you see some of the stuff that's coming out, especially that I've seen in the past few years on the agricultural robotics side, and you'll see it in the presentation today, you look at some of the stuff and you wonder, are these trucks, are these tractors, are these robots? So we've all got to get together and figure out how these things are going to work with people and be safe. Key thing to be on the lookout for, and I'm definitely going to keep an eye on your company. Steve, Great. thanks so much for your time Thank today. you very much. Really appreciate it. Appreciate it. Keep tuning in. We've got a lot more coming from the Autonomous Truck Show in Detroit.